Hello world of Facebook. This is Chris Pickard at Body Imbalance in Hertfordshire, bringing you the latest and the greatest news on how to really perfect your health and prevent disease. Why? Because I truly want to save the NHS. And I believe that the best way to save the NHS is by saving you, by encouraging you to do the things that you know you need to do and possibly in ways you didn't know you need to do them in order to affect fantastic, amazing health. So let me just get Facebook up and share some bits and pieces everywhere and say hi to everyone. And here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, right, okay, good, good. Okay, so, Hello, we have Mr. Pete Cohen, fabulosus. So I've just spent, well, the last half hour or so, almost late here, preparing for tomorrow night's webinar on The Magnificent Seven. And I have to say, I'm pretty proud of what I'm going to be revealing and doing. Um, pretty comprehensive, should pretty much be the outline of the book, which is half of the reason why I wanted to do the webinar, to get the book in my head out there. And secondly, I'm going to be introducing a new service, something that I think will really help a lot of people, really help me reach a lot more people in the way that they need. I don't know if the service is needed, but I'm going to offer it out there and see what happens. So today, though, exercise. Again, with these daily broadcasts, it really does help me delve deeper into things that I've learned in the past that I've forgotten that I don't necessarily teach. And it helps me then update my knowledge as well. And today I was going through the, the emails that I actually automatically send out to my new patients. And there are some things in there that are pretty incredible that I'd forgotten I'd written three, four years ago. And so I'm going to talk to you about a hormone and two kinds of fat. And, and it's all about exercise. And it's another reason why exercise is so amazingly important for you. Okay, so exercise, two fats, a secret hormone. Now exercise, I'm already gonna recap. It's so important that you get exercise in every day. And tomorrow or Friday, I'm gonna go through sort of the best times to maybe exercise and best ways and styles to exercise. But today I want to work on another benefit. Now, Monday I spoke about glutathione um, and how exercise boosts glutathione. But when you exercise too much, your glutathione levels deplete and you need glutathione to detoxify your body. You need it to make your immune system work. You need it to clean your liver. You need it for all sorts of reasons. And so it's important for exercise that you get your diet right, specifically really high quality good proteins. One of the best ways to get good ingredients for glutathione in your body is not to buy a glutathione pill because your body will just break it down. Your stomach will just break it down anyway, but to get stuff like undenatured whey protein from grass fed cows. OK, then I spoke about how the fact that exercise, despite being so good for you, is the most acidifying thing that you can do to your body. So it's really important, again, that you've got the right nutrients to help buffer that acidity. So it's minerals and greens. And greens and greens and greens produces, brings in lots of magnesium, which is one of the main things you need. So lots of greens and good quality proteins in order to really get the full benefits of exercise. Now we get to something else. We get to one of the massive benefits of exercise that's only really just recently been realized. In 2011, a hormone was discovered called irisin, I-R-I-S-I-N, yeah, irisin. And they found out, hello, 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 hello. They found out that irisin is perhaps it's the miracle exercise molecule because it has a number of effects around the body, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, but then a few years later, it was very investigated and they thought that actually irisin doesn't exist. But now they definitely think irisin exists because they have tests for it. They think that high levels of, well, levels of irisin can help predict 
um, cardiovascular disease. It's linked with helping to protect your body with hormone problems. So for instance, ladies, young girls with polycystic ovary disease, actually their body starts making more irisin to protect them from the polycystic ovary disease. Um, so there's loads of things that's going on with irisin. And a number of things it does is it basically it what's called it's a mito it helps mitochondrial biogenesis what is that mitochondrial biogenesis now my your mitochondria if you've seen my five r's of cellular healing you should know what mitochondria are. mitochondria are basically your powerhouses in your cell you're, they're your your um energy for energy, energy for power power stations they're your power stations and the more you have them the better because the more power and energy you have at your disposal and irisin helps create this irisin what else does irisin do i made a list of things it can help decrease arterial plaque um does a few other things uh oh yeah it helps protect your body from shortening something called telomeres telomeres are these little chains on the end of your dna sequencing that every time your dna splits and replicates i every time you make a new cell from another cell the telomere gets shorter and the length of your telomeres is directly related to how long you're going to live. Um, but what you do will actually decide, determine how big a chunk of a telomere you take off each time. So what you do protects your telomeres from shortening and producing irisin helps protect your telomeres. But that's not the main reason why I want to talk about irisin. The main reason I want to talk about irisin is fat. Okay, there are two basic kinds of fat in the body. There is white fat, which is the fat that everybody thinks about. Okay, and that's the stuff, you know, down here, around the viscera, it's wherever, wherever you've got fat, basically. White fat. And white fat, what it does is it stores energy. And that's pretty much basically what it's there for. It stores energy. But there's another kind of fat. Another kind of fat that they thought until recently only existed in babies. And that's called brown fat. So you have white fat, which is stuff where everyone's familiar with, and then you have brown fat. Now, what does brown fat do? Well, brown fat mostly burns energy and creates heat and warmth. And babies have lots of it because they can't shiver, basically and they don't have a way of making extra heat if they need it. So they have lots of brown fat. But it's thought as you age, brown fat completely disappears. But that's not true. It's just that it's hard to find. And that, you know, most of our brown fat is actually around here, possibly to keep the heart warm. Um, and also the arteries and the blood flowing warm up into the brain, because the brain has to be at a very critical special temperature to work properly. So, yeah, they found that we do have brown. There are other areas that you make brown fat. You have brown fat. And brown fat is there to basically create body heat. And it just, it just zaps up energy. It just burns other fat. So it's in your interest to basically, especially if you're overweight, you're trying to lose weight or trying to maintain weight, um, it's in your interest to make sure you do things that promote brown fat and inhibit white fat and irisin basically promotes the burning of white fat and the biogenesis of brown fat simples and there's a few amazing things about brown fat that you need to know basically unlike white fat okay brown fat is more prevalent in thinner people so basically thinner people have not just a greater percentage of brown fat, but they'll actually have more brown fat than someone who is obese. And that is, I think it's because, and it makes a lot of sense because the primary reason for brown fat is to create body heat. And we know that, I mean, you look at whales um, and everything that lives in the sea, they have lots of white fat to insulate their bodies. And basically the bigger you are, with fat the more you're insulating your body so your body doesn't actually need the brown fat plus also what's happening is your body intelligently knows that well if i'm storing fat 
then it must mean because I need to store this energy because there's problems with getting what I need. So I don't want to make brown fat because that wastes energy, but hey, I can insulate, insulate myself with all this white fat. And so exercise boosts irisin. And so as you exercise, you don't just burn the energy, you create these hormones, this hormone called irisin, that will help convert white fat into brown fat. And they now think there's a third kind of fat just called beige fat, which is a white fat cell that's turning into a brown fat cell. So that's another reason to exercise, to actually turn brown fat, white fat into brown fat. Brown fat burns energy, you find it more in thin people, more in lean people, more in people who exercise regularly as well. And it will burn a lot of energy and keep you warm as well. So there we go. That is my tip today. And the next couple of days, yeah, I'll go into more about why and how to exercise, what types of exercise to do, best time of day to exercise. Um, but really, if you want to create irisin, just exercise. Don't worry about the time or the amount or anything at the moment. Just start doing more exercise. Okay, be well, live long and prosper. And again, if you really want to know more in depth how everything fits together, then sign up for the webinar, spread the news about the webinar. The more on it, the better, the more I can contact, the more I can help people. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Be well. <laughs>